Now, nine months after she took office, the National Director of Public Prosecution, Shamila Batori, has outlined progress made in her office. Among other things, the NPA head says she wants to restore credibility to the institution by making it accountable to the people of South Africa. Let's unpack the NDPP's first nine months in office with lawyer Ntabi Seng Dubazane. Thanks for your time, Ntabi Seng. We appreciate it. So we actually just heard from uh, Shamila Batori a little earlier on. She says a lot more still has to be done to get things right in the NPA. But yeah. nine months later, is that good enough? It's a, it's a short time. I think we're expecting a little bit too much from her in this short time. The NPA, as it is, it stands in a mess. Um, she inherited a very messy institution, so she has to do a lot, a lot of cleaning up before she can, you know, implement all that she wants to implement. Mm -hmm. For example, there's shortage of staff. There is uh, investigations that, 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 you know, the NPA doesn't, you know, exactly get involved in investigations. It's the SAPS, the Hawks, etc. So when dockets come to her and they're not, or the, N the NPA as a whole, and the investigations are not completed, there's nothing much that they can do. And then on top, like I said, the, for me, because I've worked in the court sphere for a very, very long time, the main problem is the shortage of prosecutors. There's not enough people to help with the prosecution of all these cases. So you've heard the president say, that he's giving the NPA more money to prosecute GBV cases, for instance, mm -hmm. and look at certain areas. But do you think that's still enough to actually get the NPA working more efficiently and effectively right now? There's a lot of things that are wrong in terms of investigations and prosecution. So if money is thrown the NPA way, I would, I would have preferred it be thrown to the SAPS so that they are trained even more in, on how to investigate certain aspects. Because what we get away with as criminal defense attorneys in court is the way and the manner in which investigations were done. We look at the technicalities, whether the law was followed precisely to the T, and stuff like that. Because the SAPS, when it comes to the implementation of the actual law in terms of the Criminal Procedure Act, they're not very clued up regarding that. The NPA is clued up, it's their daily job. So perhaps if it's going to be thrown to the NPA, then it should be in a way to train the SAPS on how to do investigations thoroughly, so that when cases do get to court, they don't get thrown out on technicalities. Yeah. So what can Shamila Batori actually do to restore faith in the NPA? Because, I mean, she can try to uh, prosecute cases, you know, from the past that were dropped. That would be one of the areas, but they haven't really done that. And what, that's one of the things that South Africans were looking forward to when she took over. Look, what the NPA has to, for, I'm, I'm going to assume that we're talking about corruption mm. cases and all these commissions that have been established. You must remember that everything that is said within the commission, the evidence in there, the NPA can't use to prosecute somebody, even if they incriminated themselves within the commission. They have to start from scratch their own investigations. Yeah. So now, these are cases that have been withdrawn for various reasons over a number of years. What is to say that whatever the reasons were five years ago will not be the same reasons today? Do you know what I mean? Because we didn't trust the previous NDPP. Exactly. Right. But then what if the investigations were botched? When she gets the docket and she realizes, should I put this case on the roll? it's going to be thrown out day, day one. Yeah. And therefore, we're back to square one, where the public is like, but NPA is not doing their job. Yeah. So, yeah. So nine months, you say, is too short a time for her to transform the NPA. It How long? way too short. It's a mess. Let's give her maybe a year and a half. Mm. Um, on top of what we are at now, it would have at least cleaned out the mess. Then she can start to implement what she hopes to be a better N N NPA. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much for your time and your insight. You. I'm glad you're hopeful. That <laughs> was Ntabi saying Dubazana from Dubazana Attorneys.